One day he came out and uh, started yelling at me because I had um, I left my dump truck running. It was a hundred degrees and my granddaughter's running. Okay. And he told me that I was a. Uh, um, Here, hold on. Before you start, we do, could I also hear this? Story? Yeah. Would that be okay? You just stand in front of me. And so, make... Well, what? I mean, yeah. Oh, you could just ask them whatever questions you want to ask about the sign. Okay. You mind standing in front of me so we can do it? Yeah. Thank you. Here, come just into the sun a little bit. There you go. <laughs> I know. Sorry, it's no fun. Okay. Hi, Mike. Right there. Beautiful. Okay. I'm ready if you're ready. I'm. I'm. I'm we're going. Um. So, Joe, can you just say and spell your first and last name for me? Um. Joe Dunn. D U N N. Okay. Joe J O E. Yeah. Um. So, Joe, you own this building? Yes, I do. And you? And where did this sign come from? Um. Yes. I, I hired someone to make it. Okay. Who'd you hire to make it? It's a sign company out of Bethel. Okay. How much did it cost you? Um, there was three of them. There's one and two other ones. I haven't got the bill yet. It's like I think it was like four or five hundred dollars per sign. No, no, no. Well, totally. Three, yeah. Okay. And so the one at uh, at Main Street. Pedro's, yes. Yes, that one was taken down this morning. Did you know that? Yes, I t I had it taken down because my. Uh, Tenants in the building ask me to, so I'm going to put it back up on a vacant lot someplace. Okay. What What was the motivation behind the signs? Um, Mr. Chin is always out there, um, you know, saying a lot of bad things about me, and, and I could take that. But then people with um, I have a daughter that's in the Lewiston Special Ed Department, and people started going up to her, um, telling her that her parents were slumlords and stuff like that. So I just thought that that was kind of uh, Unfair. So I figured I'd give a little bit back to them. Okay. Uh, why choose the, the language that you chose? Because, um, you mean to go for more jobs and uh, not more wealthy? Uh, well, I was speaking more to the Ho Chi Chin side. Oh, I, was, I just thought that um, his ideas, the ones that he's uh, presenting for downtown here, are more socialist and uh, um, bordering on basically communism. So I just did a little parody on that. Okay. Some people think that's racist. What do you think? No, not at all. I don't think it's racist at all. Why not? Um, I just think I took it as racist. Half of my family's black, so I'm not a racist. Well, half your family's not from Asian descent. No. Um, I just thought that, that, it, that it would make a point. Some people think that you're using Ho Chi Minh to generalized to all people of Asian oh, no. descent. I'm, I'm doing it to generalize that his ideas are more socialist and communist. Why do you feel so comfortable talking with, I mean, I guess most people who, who do something like this would probably not want to be associated with it, I guess, so they wouldn't want to put their face on camera. Well, it's just that I mean, he has his side of the story all the time, and I just, my whole fight with him and this other woman, Melissa Dunn, started because of that building right there. They were advocating for some people that lived in that building that I kicked out, who ended up murdering uh, Romeo Parent, Romeo Parent up in Green, butchering him. And this whole fight between us started over me kicking those people out. Okay. Um, you know, th th there's there aren't any disclaimers on that sign that say where it came from and, and such. Some people are saying that's an illegal sign. Well, it'll come down and I'll put them on, but they'll go back up. Okay. And where's the third one? Not not Main Street, not here, but what's the it other one? It hasn't gone up yet. Where will it go up? Um, I'm trying to find places where um, I can find the, the lot up the next corner. I'll probably put one on there. Um, some other people have offered to let me put it on their buildings, but um, it'll be visible. The people at Pedro Harris asked you to take it down. Not Pedro oh, Harris, oh, okay. no. Um, I rent to an attorney, Matthew. I can't even say his last name. Okay. But um, I had asked his permission the day before to, if he had any problem with me putting it up, and he said no. Um, but then I guess he got a little bit of black about it too, so I felt that you know, his sign was in the picture too, so I took it down. Okay, so you you took it down for him, but you but you plan on putting it up somewhere else, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and okay. I don't feel it's the least bit racist. I'm not, I'm not, I don't have a racist bone in my body. Scott, I'm sorry, I've monopolized all the questions I no, want. No, that's good. No, you're fine. You're fine. Anything it's you right want? I talked to the gentleman already. Okay. I mean, anything so, you'd like to add? Anything you think we've left out? No, just no. You got them all. I just wanted to find a way. Okay. I, I just right. did it. So. Thank you. <laughs> Along with a different one. Well, 
And this is the building that he was talking about, apparently. Uh, anybody in Twitter world have any questions for him? leaving. Ben's leaving. Too bad. I don't know if anybody's not online or anything like that. They haven't seen the sign itself. It's hard to see on this. Know, can you make that out? Don't vote for Ho Chi Chin. Vote for more jobs, not more welfare. Okay. Well, there you go, Mr. Soul. Pretty much. Uh, you want a summary? You're asking for a summary. Okay, well, mayoral candidate, one of five mayoral candidates, uh, has been attacking, made it a, a plank in his... Um, oh, boy, that's a horrible picture made it a plank in his uh, platform for mayor to uh, attack slumlords. And one of, the, one of the landlords, this gentleman over here that we were just talking to, uh, Mr., um, Mr. Dunn, that's that gentleman right there, Joe Dunn, uh, said he was just tired of it and he wanted to hit back. So he put up a sign that said, um, don't vote for Ho Chi Chin. Vote for more jobs, not more welfare. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, right? there uh, yellow hammers and sickles and stars and then a caricature cartoon of Ho Chi Minh um, so anyways that's that's what the community is buzzing about right now <laughs> y'all just give me a call man because I think it's ridiculous like really it's better for change we need change <laughs> I think it's kind of ridiculous, but it is time for a change. The new man needs, the old man needs to go out and the new one needs to come in, in my, my opinion, personally. You know? And it's time for change. Because the city needs to be upgraded, not to it's it too bad, uh, because Matt left. Because I used to live here 20 years ago. Matt, desire? No, uh, or not. Uh, ben? ben? Ben left because he was, um, ridiculous. thought we were going to have a chance for he and uh, Joe to talk. Oh, yeah. He was standing right there waiting, and then the TV cameras grabbed TV cameras grabbed Joe, and so, so. Oh, hold on here. What is somebody saying? Do they support him? Well, I think these people here. This is Periscope. This is, this is Melissa Dunn with the. Oh, are you recording me right now? Oh yeah, that's yeah, live. It's live right now. You want me to give you a tour? Things need to be done. Okay, there we go. There's Melissa. And you, your uh, support, Benjamin. I I don't support any candidate at this point. I I'm trying to stay. But you've been working with him. I mean, it was just down the street there. We had this the, the press conference. Ben was there. You know, after study. I we have a common interest to change how the way housing is here um, because we've dealt with issues like Joe Dent's building here, 74 Pier Street, that I've been involved with since 2012, and as of January 2015, it's still violation of, of code. It had leaking roofs, cockroach infestation, bed bug infestation, no working smoke detectors, and I guess along the way, since 2012, repairs have been made. Um, I can't speak to this particular building, but I know... Uh, a tenant's history. No, I don't want to see it. <laughs> okay, well, All right, you know, I, gotta I don't go, know. So just give me a call when you, um, Gave everybody in Lewiston something to money. talk about today. Yeah. So. Well, racism, and you're, were you the one at, yes. you yeah. were at the press conference? Yeah, yeah, yes. I'm Alita Jones. And so she you're, was not yeah. evicted And I wasn't apartment. evicted. No. Okay. No, we went to court. He tried went, to evict He tried me. to evict you. He That's what he was just talking about over there just now. Yeah, he tried to. But he did it while I went to go see my grandson graduate. And I didn't appreciate that. So when he thought I wasn't going to show up, 